And now moving on to Vivek. So just as a reminder, Vivek was the founder of Cyberworks Robotics and one of the very first clients using the QA Consultants XCOG solution. So with that, Vivek, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks so much, Jen. Hello, everyone. At Cyberworks, we realized several years ago that level four and level five autonomous navigation in cars and trucks was probably still a decade or two away. So we decided to focus our expertise in self-driving systems to other types of commercial equipment that didn't involve on-road traffic. Today, Cyberworks has developed a universal vehicle agnostic autonomous navigation technology platform for third party equipment. So our technology replaces the driver of any type of equipment that is pushed or steered in commercial buildings and farms, thereby mitigating labor shortages, reducing labor costs, and increasing operator efficiencies for customers by redeploying employees who work with wheeled machinery. Next slide. In the past, we've installed our technology on a variety of OEM products to create, for example, starting with the image on the left, the world's first autonomous tractor tug for the industrial greenhouse industry. In greenhouses, these tugs are used to tow multiple industrial carts to move produce to and from the greenhouse. The middle image is the world's first autonomous industrial ride on vacuum for increased hygiene in large carpeted facilities ranging from airports to libraries to hotels, casinos, and even cruise lines, which all have an abundance of carpeted space. And on the right, the world's first autonomous hospital wheelchair to enter clinical trials at one of the world's largest hospitals in collaboration with the head of radiology to ensure the timely arrival of inpatients for their MRIs and CTs, which often lie idle because of wheelchair portering delays. In the case of this particular hospital, careful data analysis determined that they were losing over $10 million per year due to staff and equipment idle time and increasing wait times for critical scans for cancer patients, resulting in increased morbidity, all of which could be mitigated by the use of our autonomous wheelchair technology. Next slide. We have a fairly unique business model in that we license our technology to global OEMs of conventional equipment and let them integrate and sell these sorts of products through their existing global sales and support infrastructure. This results in extremely rapid product development cycle times of weeks instead of months or years, which are typically required by competitive technologies. We're able to do this in part because we've been pioneering this sort of technology since the mid 1980s when the field of autonomous navigation first emerged. Next slide. A few other products using our technology include the world's first autonomous floor cleaner to incorporate the first human safe COVID killing certified UV light for high touch surfaces, which we developed with the world's largest manufacturer of floor cleaners. The ability to kill COVID and other pathogens with the same machine that's used for floor cleaning allows for cleaning at increased frequency or even 24 seven to ensure optimal hygiene without increased labor cost. We also developed the world's first ride on tractor tug with a globally leading maker of specialty vehicles. These tugs are used in operations ranging from industrial greenhouses to auto plants to tow components from production areas to warehousing spaces or loading docks. Next slide. We've also applied our technology to Kubota agricultural tractors to automate transport of produce in orchards. Shortages of labor in the agricultural vertical are crippling supply chains and our technology can help to mitigate these shortages and spoilage of fruit. We're also working with a European maker of wheelchairs to automate wheelchair portering in airports and hospitals. The portering process is a flashpoint for transmission of COVID between staff and vulnerable populations. Automation eliminates this flashpoint and allows staff to be redeployed to more meaningful, meaningful tasks. And we're working as well with a major European maker of greenhouse logistics to further automate greenhouse operations. 
The main point of describing these products is that they all run on our standard autonomous navigation platform, which reduces upfront development and integration. Uh, and integration time to a few weeks rather than years, as well as dramatically reducing pro production costs. Next slide. As well, this is possible in part due to our extensive global network of partners from academia to industry, including deep partnerships with companies like Intel and AWS. Next slide. The rapid rollout of these products is made possible in part because of our commitment to automated testing and simulation solutions. Our platform includes a full stack of components that makes simulation testing particularly challenging. These components include autonomous navigation software, fail-safe systems, cloud-based fleet management, statistical reporting, data logging, operation systems, and more. We take a vendor agnostic approach to automated testing technology and use multiple simulation platforms to ensure robust testing. Our own in-house platform runs 48 GPUs on which we've logged over 100,000 hours of testing. We got involved with QA consultants, for example, a few years ago when we received a contract with a major airport to build and deliver CyberWorks software to control autonomous single passenger vehicle to service the mobility requirements for physically impaired travelers at major airports around the world. It's estimated that 54,000 such autonomous single passenger vehicles would be needed to service passenger mobility demands in high income G20 airports. So they had to be reliable. CyberWorks Robotics team joined the QA consultants team in building out their XCOG testing capabilities for software testing of AI in cognitive vehicles. We were delighted to participate with QA in creating the XCOG solution. Next slide. So in closing, I'd like to encourage anybody interested in deploying autonomous systems to reach out and I'd be delighted to provide our input and advice. Um, thank you everyone for listening.